We've stayed Alan for our next loft visit. This is a National Marine Loft of Matt Jameson. Good afternoon, Matt. Good afternoon, Keith. How long have you been in the sport? This will be my 60th season. 1937 I joined as a 15 year old. Yeah. You got family in the sport as well. My uncle won the national in 1950. He raced pigeons between 20 and 30, then packed them up. And we, my brother and I, started them off about 1946. And I've read them in 1948, a blue hen that's won the national for him in 1950. Yeah. What's one or two your best position, positions? Well, I've won the national three times. Nance, 69, Nance, 80, uh, 82, and Nance again in 86. Yeah. How far is Nance to you? 540. 540 miles. Yeah. Have you got any other good positions? Pardon? Have you got any other good positions? Well, I've been, what, uh, second, fourth, si fifth, sixth, twice, seventh, eighth, three times, ninth, tenth, eleventh, yeah. and twelfth twice. Brilliant. What sort of racing do you like? Do you like short distance or long no, distance? No, purely long distance. Yeah. This is a nice blue, Matt. What's this one? That's a blue hen. Uh, she was in a two-year-old in 1994. She was 18 seconds in boobies, and then three weeks later she was second, second, second open at a ninth, 540 mile. In 1995 she was fifth section. 11th Open, New York, 612 mile. In 1996, she was 20th Open, New York. And in 1994 and 1995, she won the two bird average in the national with her full brother. Yeah, one Red Cork. I'll show you him shortly. Yeah. She's actually a granddaughter, great granddaughter of the 1986 national winner. Was she raced on the natural, Matt? Yes, oh, everything natural. What's her about best? Well, I'm sitting about 15 days, 12 to 15 days, yeah. the hens. The cocks usually feeding about five or six days. Yeah. Class pigeon, this one. Yes, she's, uh, she's never done her 900 yards a minute yet, but she has no mark on her. What families of pigeons you keep well, them at? Well, they're based on Logan Osman Barker. I got the Logans just after the war, but the best two I got was from a McGill Ock and Lake. I got a pure Logan and a Logan Osman from him. The Logan Osman bred my uncle's national winner. And the uh, pure Logan is it's the same farm as I'm flying today. But since then, I put a bit of everything in, but uh, still, basis is still the old Logan Osman. Yeah, do you keep stock birds? No, I've never owned a stock loft in my life. Right. I've got about seven birds I keep for stock, but they're always paired to the racers. I breed solely off my racers. This is Matt's loft, which is erected in a field. It's 24 foot long, has three sections. Two for old birds, naturals, and one for young birds, and all trapped for open doors. This is Matt's brother John, and John used to race pigeons. Good afternoon, John. Good afternoon. So you used to have some pigeons? Yes, I had them from 1935 to 13, 1938. He's blowing it back up, and I took professional running up. Yeah. And I joined the Marines for six years, six years in the Marines during the war. I restarted again in 46. Yeah, you had quite a good success with the pigeons. I started up with Putman's originally for me, I had shoes in Ireland, and they went out of their turn in the club, but I couldn't get them over the water, so I got rid of them all. And eventually, in 1949, I got to purchase a youngster of John. I was very fan of John Kilpatrick, being a milkman, I used to deliver his milk. Yeah. And I purchased a youngster of Kilpatrick that turned out to be a gold man. She's a mother of my loft. And she bred me a lot of winners. Channel me. I was only interested in channel racing. They couldn't fly well in the club they're no use, in the channel they're no use to me. No. Yeah. Yeah. Down through the years, well, I won the section eight times. Won the national once. Did you win a national once? I won nine in 1971. How far is Nance? Five, 540. Yeah, fantastic. I was second Nance in 72. Six Nance in 73. Yeah. I won the section eight times all together. All seven of my hands and went with a cork. Yeah, absolutely great, brilliant. I was a great believer in hands. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And now your son Billy's carrying on the family tradition. I, Billy, the son joined me in early 1950s. So we flew to Jimmyson Sun for quite a number of years. And the son got a house in the town and he got married in a house in the town. He's been his own. And I packed up about two years ago. Yeah. I got a bit disillusioned with the pigeon again. And my wife took a very severe, a, a serious illness. Yeah. And I lost her just, just after my sale. Yeah. Well, well done then. John, thanks very much for talking to us. It's a great sport, though, I must say that, but it is. I don't think it's a game it used to be, really. Yeah. It's an old fashioned, you know, I'm maybe biased.
What system do you race your old birds on there, Matt? I race them in the natural system. I usually pair up the first weekend in March. I raise about 30 youngsters for myself. Yeah. I've only got a room for 33, you see, and uh, I raise them as I say natural. I train them up and I give the natural birds, the national birds get about four or five races before the main nationals, except maybe the experienced birds, but I always like them at three or four. I like to have about three or four train tosses beforehand because I think they need a bit, their brain needs a bit of exercise, and just like yourself, we've been out of work for six months, it takes a while to get started again. Yeah. So I think the pigeons are the same, and takes them a race, just a toss or two to get their brains working right. Yeah. How so far did you try them? them? Pardon? How far did you train them? 40 mile, up to 40 mile. Yeah. It's a wee bit awkward now because the hills are full of little peregrines, and it's, it's, you've got to take a chance, it used to take a chance now. Yeah, it's a big problem up here, the hooks. problem, yes. So we've been, well, I've lost over 30 pigeons myself with, with Farahawks, including two of my national winners. That's incredible. But uh, no, I, I just, I give them a couple of hours in the morning, I shut them up, but they're not open hole from one o'clock to half past five. Yeah. They've just to take a chance in the Sparrowhawks because you never know yeah. when they're going to be talking. I think once they're open, they get a bit flyer to them, they're more used to them. They don't get frightened quite the same. My pigeons are used to sparrows going over and they don't even rise. No. What do you feed your pigeons? I feed them on a mixture. Yeah, was that high protein? Uh, but 35% maples, 35% maize, 10% beans and about 5%. Yeah, it's, it's for the channel, it's long uh, distance, yeah. I think you, we need it for the long distance. Yeah, maybe, it's maybe too strong a mixture for club racing. Yeah. As I see, we have four national, well, four national races. So. You have to be. What's your favourite race point? Uh, well, I've done best at Nantes, 540 mile, but anyway, any one of the four had just no matter. This is the inside Matt's natural section for the old birds. In this grand old loft. This nice red checker, Matt, what's this one? This is a full breather to the blue hen you handled the fact that you saw last. He's flown the channel three he's flown three France three times. His first time was Nantes when he was sixty second open when there was only sixty eight in race time. And him and his sister won the two bird average since that was in ninety four. In ninety five he was uh, nine six and nineteenth open out in the York and he won the trophy again with his sister. And last year, nineteen sixty he was twelfth in the section out there in the York. Six hundred and twelve miles. He's a wonderful pigeon. He's never flown any of the shorter races, just the three yeah. Long races. What's his best nest condition? Uh, sitting, sitting, fourteen days. How many babies breed each season in Matt? I've, I've, I breed about 30, 35 for myself. One or two, about half a dozen goes for charity sales and such like. But I keep about thirty myself. The young bird then has only got thirty-three perches, you see. Yeah. But I, I, I'm pretty hard on them. I usually finish up with about twenty-eight ready for training. Yeah. How far they race? I prefer them to race the full program, two hundred miles. Yeah, that's a long way. The best birds is usually flew in the program. Yeah. How about training them? How often are they well, trained? About six train tours. You start at about five miles, right up to forty miles. And yeah. then I get a train tours every midweek, every midweek, about 30, 40 miles every week. Yeah, what do you feed your babies? They're fed exactly the same as old birds. I feed them the same mixture. Yeah, do, you, do, do they pair up at all for no, your operation? No, no. If a pair takes together, I sometimes give them an S band, but I've never done any good with that. I've found them all, I've thrown all the best of the perch. Another nice pigeon, Matt. This is a stock cock. It's the son of the 1986 Nance He was actually uh, six days old when the hen got killed the Sparrowhawk, so he's the last son really bred for the Sparrowhawk, bred by the national one. His, his nest mate, a black hen, was a dam of the two pigeons you handled last, the blue hen and the red cock. He's fabulous pigeon. He's always been stock, this cock. He's bred you some good pigeons in. Yeah, he has. Uh, it's, the dam was just that colour, except the white, she had another white in the head. She was that colour that the national one had. The great Matt Jameson.